So today I wanted to create a more of a research kind of video as a couple of months ago I stumbled on a game for the PlayStation 2 in my local game store and it was around 50 cents, 50 pence depending on where you come from and it was called Project Eden and the box art to me was very intriguing. It was just a desolate steel wall I think with rust on it and the title was smack bang in the middle. Project Eden. Now for such a cheap price I thought I might as well give it a go and I was in a stream of collecting PS2 games at the time so I felt like this could be a hidden gem to add to my collection. When you first load up the game you see an opening sequence that for a PS2 game is fairly well done. It conveys the corrupt ghost town and ambience I think they were going for. So I'm going to shut up and let you watch the rest of this clip. Seriously, watching that back with the edit still gave me chills and made me feel a little uneasy. Honestly, the intro is perfect and I feel like it gives just enough to draw you in without being too vague. So you can spark your own curiosity about the game and what you're going to have to encounter on your adventure. But the story is not what I'm covering today. As I had such a good time with this game, I really wanted to know more about it. And this video is about the research that I did on the PS2 hidden gem known simply as Project Eden. Project Eden was released on the 8th of October 2001 for PC and the 22nd of October 2001 on PS2 in North America, later followed by the 26th of October PC release and the 2nd of November PS2 release in Europe. A Dreamcast version of the game was planned but was later cancelled during the development stages. The game was actually created by the company Core Designs, who were the company behind the original Tomb Raider games, and was published by Eidos Interactive, who were behind Final Fantasy VII, the Gex PS1 platformers, and more recently, the Hitman series. As for the game itself, you play as four law enforcement officers named Carter, Andre, Minoko, and Amber, investigating disappearances by working their way through a huge metropolis. This game has you flick between the four agents while solving puzzles which get progressively more brain crunching and difficult as you progress. You can play with up to four players multiplayer which sees you each control one of the squad members as you use their unique abilities to progress through the game. Carter's ability is interviewing suspects and opening specially locked doors. Andre's special ability is using his tool called the Omni Tool to fix broken down equipment that must be repaired. Minoko's ability is hacking into computer terminals, which let her control cannons, computers, cameras, heavy machinery, robots, tanks, aerial drones, factory lines, and information databases. And my favourite character, Amber, has a special ability of being invincible to dangers like flames, poison gas, electricity, lava pits, acid pools, laser beams, cold temperatures, vacuum, and high pressure zones. She can walk through those things without ever being affected at all. This as far as I'll go into the actual physical game itself, because I really think the best way for you to experience this story and for you to experience this game is to play it yourself. Honestly, solving these long-winded puzzles makes you feel like an absolute genius when you finally do it. And that's as far as I'll go into the actual game itself, as I feel the best way for you to experience this game and its story is to play it yourself. Honestly, when you conquer a puzzle that you've been stuck on for a while, the feeling is amazing. You feel like an absolute genius. So in the literal sense, Project Eden isn't actually a very underrated game at all. With game rankings giving the PS2 and PC ports 75.48% and 73.54% ratings respectively. And Metacritic giving the PS2 version 71 out of 100 and the PC version 72 out of 100. This only further sparked my curiosity however. As I then began to wonder why it was a game that was actually given such high ratings overlooked and underappreciated so much. After a while of searching, I came across an article titled Project Eden Needs More Love and a Remake Slash Reboot on the website fanboydestroy.com. The article basically regurgitates my views on the game and goes on to say it would be a great idea to reboot the IP or at least remake the game. A comment was posted on this article by the user named GLW, which stated the following. 
I'd gather that since Core Designs is no longer, and Square Enix most likely owns the IP, it's up to them to do something with the Project Eden name. It's tough to get something like this rebooted because the original game isn't remembered much, if at all today. Still, one can always hope. Done right, it could be a great new game. I must say that the comment I've just read to you is very much in line with the research I've conducted on this topic. There's little to no information on this game on the internet at all. And what little there is is from years ago, meaning that most posts and threads are no longer active. So in conclusion, is Project Eden a good game? Yes. Is it worth playing? Yes. Should it be rebooted? Yes. Will it? No. And it pains me to say this, but I really just don't think that even Square Enix know that they have the rights to this property. And if they ever did, we'll probably just glance over it and forget about it. And although we can always hope, I really think that a reboot for this series is unlikely. However, the fact that it is on GOG.com shows that at least one well-known company knows about the game and wants to put it on their platform for people to experience it in the modern day. So there's a little bit of hope in that. But as of right now, I feel like the only way that you can play Project Eden, and you will ever be able to play Project Eden, is in the original game. And may I just say now, in the middle of my research, I've just seen that this game is actually still on sale for PC at GOG.com. And at the time I'm making this video, the price of the game is £1.09. That's £1.09. You should definitely pick this up for Windows if you're really intrigued to play this game at such a cheap price. It's an absolute steal and I'm sure you'll love it if you love action adventure games and puzzle solving games. Right, I must say, if you've taken the time out of your day to watch this video, I'm ever so grateful. This is my first video on YouTube since I've decided to restart this channel and it's actually my first attempt at doing a fully scripted video and I really think that the amount of work that I've pumped into it, I've really spent about two days doing this video non-stop and I'm happy with how it's come out. So I think I'm probably going to do more of these because it's something I'm really interested in doing. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the Eden Project or if you've even played it. And let me know that you want more of these videos by hitting the subscribe button, that really means so much to me, and see ya.